depth of one that is input and output devices so the topic to be covered in this chapter are how does the works of computer system input devices output devices and processing devices as we have already learned in earlier classes that a computer is a used as the various places to do different jobs so now i will move to the first topic that is how does the works of computer system and what is computer system students anyone knows what is the computer system see here i explain to you what is computer system a computer is a machine that works on electricity it can be compared to a magic box that can do a variety of jobs and you know what children computers are not used to offices only they can be seen everywhere around uses such as now i will give some example like that shops schools hospitals banks airports railway stations etc they work very fast and give 100% accurate results hope you all are understand what is computer system and how does the works of computer system now i will move to the next topic anyone knows what is the computer see here i will tell you what is the computer a computer is an electronic device that accept data and instruction given by the user processes them accordingly and gives meaningful results now everyone understand what is computer i hope all are understand now i will move to the next topic that is basic functions a computer system perform three basic functions that is input processing output students anyone knows what is the input now i i explain what is the input input is a raw data and the instruction what is process process is the calculation done on the data and what is output output is the result obtained after processing then the computer system works with the help of software and hardware see here what is hardware the physical parts of computer that we can touch and see are called as computer hardware and what is software software is a set of instruction that helps the hardware to works with the desired manner next topic is input devices now i will give some example of input devices like that keyboard mouse joystick microphone scanner webcam now i will explain to you input devices one by one okay students see here input devices are used to enter raw data and instruction in a computer so here are some input devices first is keyboard a keyboard is a most commonly used input device it has key on it the keys are pressed to type then mouse a mouse is also very commonly used input device it is used to point at things on the monitor the arrow on the screen knows is pointer moves when we move the mouse click double click right click drag and scroll are different mouse actions next input device is joystick a joystick is used to move object on the screen it is used while playing game on a computer then microphone microphone is also input device 
a microphone is used to input sound into a computer it is also known as mic then next input device is scanner a scanner is used to a copy text and image from a paper onto a computer then next input input device is webcam a webcam or a web camera it is a text to a computer to capture video images now i will move to the next topic which one processing devices to central processing unit that is cpu cpu is the processing device of a computer it processes the data according to the instruction given and converts it into information the cpu present inside the cpu box as you see the picture this is here cpu box and that is cpu cpu is also known as processor then next topic is output device the output is the information received after processing output device are used to see the output given by a computer so the first output device is monitor whatever work you do on a computer it display on the monitor there are three types of monitor that is crt cathode ray tube next is lcd liquid crystal display and led light emitting diodes nowadays we are mostly using lcd monitor and led monitors earlier we are using crt monitor so the latest version of monitor led monitor next output device is printer a printer is used to get the work that is stored in a computer printed on a paper there are three types of printer first is dot matrix printer inject printer and laser printer nowadays we are mostly using laser printer the document printed on a paper is called as hard copy whatever you can see in the monitor any picture it is a said to be a soft copy then another output device is speaker and headphones a speaker and headphones is used to listen to sounds and musics from a computer headphones are used when we do not disturb other with the sound and combined headphones and microphones is called as headset so students today whatever i explain to you i hope all are understand thank you